Hello everybody, my name is Miss Gemma and I'm going to be your new teacher when you come to big school in September. And do you know what animal we're going to be? Well, it's got some lovely big wings and they have very pretty patterns on them and they like to fly all over and land on lots of flowers. Can you have a think what we might be? That's right, a beautiful butterfly. We're going to be FS1B and butterfly class. So I have got something very special for you today. We're going to have a story. So I want you to make sure you're all sitting really comfortably. You've got your eyes ready for looking and your ears ready for listening. Okay, let's get started. So the special story that I've got for us to read today is called The Crunching Munching Caterpillar. Okay, I open our book. Caterpillar was very hungry. For weeks he crunched and he munched his way through the fresh, juicy leaves of a blackberry bush. Bumblebee flew over to the next bush. Watching Bumblebee fly made Caterpillar feel very hungry. So he crunched and he munched until it was time for bed. Crunch, crunch, munch, munch. Ooh. Caterpillar woke up to the sound of some twittering. Birds swooped and soared in the early morning light. Caterpillar was just about to start his breakfast when... <gasps> I wonder what's going to come. Sparrow landed beside him. I'd love to fly high in the air like that, said Caterpillar. Well, you can't, said Sparrow. You need to be as light as the dandelion clock that floats in the breeze. You're far too big to fly and your, your legs are for walking. Hmm, I guess so, said Caterpillar really glumly. Caterpillar carried on crunching and munching all day until the light began to get dark. Crunch, crunch, munch, munch. He wrapped a leaf around himself to keep warm and he was just about to go to sleep when... Who do you think is going to visit him now? Last time it was Sparrow. A butterfly landed gracefully beside him. Oh, I wish I could fly like you, sighed Caterpillar. But I'm far too big and I've got legs instead of wings. Butterfly smiled. She had a little secret. Who knows? Perhaps one day you will fly as light as a feather, just like me, she said. But now, little caterpillar, you should go to sleep. You look really tired. Butterfly was right. Caterpillar suddenly felt very sleepy. Ooh. As Butterfly flew off into the night sky, he fell into a deep, deep sleep. Choo. Caterpillar slept through all of the winter and his sleep was filled with so many dreams. He dreamed he had wings and was soaring in the blue sky above the tallest trees. He dreamed that he was a dandelion clock drifting towards the sun. He dreamed that he was as light as a feather 
floating in the breeze. When Caterpillar all woke up, he felt the warmth of the nice bright yellow sun in the sky. He was very, very stiff from a long sleep, but he didn't feel hungry anymore. He stretched and stretched and stretched until a breeze lifted Caterpillar into the air. He was no longer short and big. He had got, wow, some beautiful big wings. They were wonderful wings. They were butterfly wings. Wow, said young butterfly. I'm flying. I'm really flying. And that's the end of our story of the crunching, munching caterpillar. At the end of our story, was he still a caterpillar? Or was he this beautiful butterfly? It was lovely to read a story with you today and I am so, so excited to meet you. We're going to have the best time in butterfly class learning and growing together. I hope you have a wonderful summer and I will see you very, very soon. Bye everybody.